Thank you for joining me on this episode of Highway Spec. My name is Trent, and we are going to spec out a fun vehicle today. This is a vehicle that I've had a lot of experience with, not this particular model, but in general, a BMW M3. They are fantastic driving machines. Now, over the years, they have changed their dynamic quite significantly. They went to a turbocharged inline six, and that continues now, but they are still offering a manual transmission as long as you don't get the competition package with the all-wheel drive. So we are going to spec out how I personally would spec a brand new BMW M3. So let's jump into it. We've got the configurator pulled up, or BMW's website pulled up, rather. We're going to build our own. Let's see what we've got. So let's go ahead and select the BMW M3 sedan. Now, the roots of the M3 are the coupe. However, I've always liked the sedan. The M3, uh, starting with the E36 era. So the E36 did offer a sedan, and then the E90 era had a sedan as well. I really do like the look of the four-door. So we are going to go with that. Now, you, like I alluded to earlier, you cannot get this with a manual transmission. And personally, for me, I want that engaging experience. So I would personally spec it with a manual transmission. So that leaves us with one option. All right, and that one option is the base model, 473 horsepower versus 503 in the competition. Does take zero to 60 time at 4.1, which is still pretty respectable. Um, obviously the competition X-Drive sedan goes significantly quicker at 3.4 seconds, but there is an $8,000 price difference and there's a huge difference in driving that doesn't get translated. So. How would I personally spec it? Um, in the BMW M8 video we did, I did talk about how I've seen this Isle of Man green quite a bit, especially on the M3, M4. It's not what I'm gonna go with though. I do really like some of BMW's frozen colors. Uh, with the M8, you can go ahead and look at that video. I did end up picking a blue. I don't remember exactly which blue it was, but I think for the M3 I'd do something different. The previous generations I didn't really like red. For some reason the newer body styles I think red tends to look very good on the vehicle. However, I think my heart's going with the skyscraper gray. That was a color that was again a contender for that BMW M8 video. So let's go ahead and select some wheels. Now these wheels do have kind of a classic look, but they, personally, I feel like they are a little small. They are 18 and 19, which I, I mean, a couple years ago, I would not think that is a small wheel, but it does kind of feel small once it's put on there. So let's take a look at these. Those will go up to 1920. I do like the look of them. Let's see what the dual tone is here. I've got black. Let's see, the orbit gray. I like the gray. I don't necessarily like that brushed lip there. Man, this is a tougher choice than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> I think we're gonna go with those, the bicolor wheels there. Let's get to the inside. Now this is gonna be an interesting choice because we went with a more generic exterior color. That means we can go a little bit more bold on the inside and I have seen this color in person. It is very bold. I don't think I could ever pull it off or at least I don't think I could keep it long term. 
I think it's a very unique, very cool color, but long term, I don't think I could live with it. Now this Ford Fjord blue and black is really cool. I, I definitely consider that. I think the ivory white is a little too much, but this orange is really sticking out to me. Now normally I am a big red interior fan, but the blue and the orange for some reason is really doing something for me on this one. So let's go ahead and select the orange. All right, trim. I think we're gonna go with the carbon fiber. Might as well for $950. Alright, so the executive package, let's take a look at that. Heads-up display, heat steering wheel, power tailgate, and the Sensatec dashboard, so that's going to be a faux leather. Uh, I think I actually will do that for the heat steering wheel and the power trunk lid. Not that those things are necessarily needed, but we're going for it. And apparently we do have to change the leather somehow. It says it's the same, but... All right, we'll go for it. Parking assistance package, basically parallel parks for you. I don't know how you can add that though with the manual transmission. We'll see if it lets us do it. Apparently it's gonna let us do it, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and do the shadow line lights. A little bit of black trim. Now this might be a little more controversial because the popular vehicles that people want are what's called the slick top with no moonroof. Personally, I love moonroof, so respecting this for me, I'm picking the moonroof. I really do enjoy that. Let's see if we can add the ventilated seats. Looks like we can. I know if we add the carbon buckets, it will get rid of those. I do want a little bit of luxury in this for more of a GT Cruiser. All right. Let's do drive recorder. Now the LED adaptive laser light headlights, they're a little bit neutered here in the United States, but we're gonna go with them just to try and get a maximum amount of lighting that we can. Now, if we do this extended shadow line trim, trim it might get overridden by the M carbon package. Let's see what happens. Apparently we can have both. All right, I'm not going to do the carbon ceramic brakes. Uh, I do like the the color of the calipers that we have on there. That's M Drive Professional, M Track Mode, and 10 stage traction control drift analyzer. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to need to do that. This M Drivers package does increase the top speed, as I found out on that M8 video. So we are going to do that. Oh, there we go. That's what it's going to take in exchange is the moonroof. And you know what? I'm not going to do it. I do really want the moonroof. Now, if we were max specking this out, we'd obviously add these, but. We're not going to do that. So let's go ahead, take a look at the summary here. This is my BMW M3 sedan, the way I would spec it out. Look at that, $87,600. That's a gorgeous looking vehicle. I do like the blue calipers. They do stand out on the outside. You do have that orange interior with a little bit of black to break it up. And then you've got that manual transmission right there, which is going to be super cool, dying breed. So might as well get it while we can. So what do you think of this build? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I know you've got an opinion on it, so I want to hear your comment below. Make sure to drop a comment. And because with this is on YouTube, they have their algorithm that they want specific things like liking the video, subscribing, clicking the bell notification, all those things which allows YouTube to push this video out to more people so we can do more videos for you. If you would do that, I would sincerely appreciate it. But thank you for watching. This is my BMW M3. I will catch you on the next video.